Hello and welcome. One of the quickest ways that an RV shows its age is from the uh, UV rays that shine on and bleach it and break down the components in the RV. Also, one of the biggest reasons why RVs start to leak over the long term is from those same UV rays breaking down the sealants and adhesives on the roof and allowing water in. One way to circumvent that is by putting it under a, a roof of some sort, maybe in, inside an enclosed garage would be great. The problem with that method is that our trailer is completely covered with solar panels on the roof and I utilize those solar panels on a daily basis to charge my electric car. So I don't want those panels covered under a roof. So a good compromise is a fabric RV cover and my plan is to actually cut out a portion of the roof of the RV cover so that it can go on either side and underneath the solar panels so that we can still be generating power during the day and have the outside of the trailer on the sides covered up. So luckily RV Masking graciously agreed to send me one of their covers and so I'm going to be unboxing that right now and getting that set up on my trailer and I'll show you along the way of how well it fits and uh, what I think of the cover. I'm going to be putting the link in the description down below to this product on Amazon. They sell the cover in a variety of sizes here. The RV cover has seven layers on the roof and then it has three layers of fabric on the sides and it has uh, extended life in UV rays, which is important for this because that's exactly where it's gonna be, is out in the sun. And then it has water wicking uh, functionality to get water off the surface of the trailer and straps that go underneath it and whatnot. So let's uh, get the box opened up and see how it goes. Lucy here is my lovely assistant. <laughs> All right, let's get this opened up. There you go. All right, so the giant box that it came shipped in is <laughs> a little bit overkill. It has a smaller box here where the actual cover is. So let's get that taken out. The cover comes vacuum sealed inside of this plastic pouch. So it doesn't actually take up very much space. And it, this is the least amount of space it will ever take up. And then over here we have probably the wheel covers, I'm guessing. And down here we have straps for going underneath it and probably elsewhere. And then here's some more fabric and I'm guessing this is a storage bag for the whole thing. Oh, and then we have some more parts down here. I think that these are covers for sharp points on the trailer to protect it from fraying. And then down here we have a jack cover. So bringing that up here, we'll see how well that fits, but I can tell already it'll work just fine. This is the other jack cover that I've had in the past, and this has worked well too. Let's take that off. It has a drawstring at the bottom, same on this one. So we can pop that over. You can see this is the smart jack here, and the cover works just fine. And I orient it long ways this way so that the airflow out of the mini split is not overly restricted. And then we can tighten this drawstring. And there, with the drawstring tight, that's how it works on the jack. The trailer cover comes with a three-year warranty, as you can see here on this card. Here's the instructions that come with the trailer. Uh, coming over this way, they are basically just saying, figure out what's the front and the back, and then lay it out over the trailer, and then get the straps tied down. And then the instructions continue here on the back side of the paper going over variations of different types of RVs and finishing up the instructions on the zippers and what you should do for caring for it. Inside the bag with the instructions, it also came with these pieces here, which are for the gutter downspouts to avoid a sharp point on the trailer cover. And then it also came with this piece here, which looks to be just a patch because it's actually sticky on the backside. And so you could stick this on somewhere where you need extra support or where you've gotten a hole. These are the straps that it comes with. There's two really long ones and then a bunch of short, small ones. And then also comes with this um, strap that has weights at the end right here. And these weights are what you use to toss underneath the trailer to get the straps to the other side. Uh, and then the other end of that clip it has this clip so you can connect it to these straps. Now these are the tire covers. So it came with four of these and it has a little bit of elastic around the upper edge. And then the bottom edge, it has these eyelets here, which are reinforced eyelets. And then it came with these bungee cord hooks to hold these 
tire covers on in case it gets windy. You don't want to lose your tire covers. Uh, now, tire covers are important because the UV rays will break down the rubber in the tires uh, more quickly than if they're covered. So that's a common thing in the RV world to keep your tires covered so that they will last longer and not get brittle and blow out on the highway. So that is all of the general accessories and parts that it came with. And the last thing is the main cover itself, so let's get that unpacked. First we have to let some air in because it's vacuum sealed, but we have to be careful not to cut the cover, of course. Here's the cover. Here on the cover, they have the uh, receiving clips for the straps that go around the sides and underneath. And this is all reinforced stitching. This will make a lot more sense when it gets up on the trailer, so let's get it up there. I folded up everything into the bag first before putting it on the RV so that you can see how well that works. And it definitely is a great carrying case for the cover when it is not on the RV. I asked Jessica to help me with this stage of the installation because it would be difficult to do alone. I noticed one thing is that the trailer where it's located on the RV pad is up higher than it would be otherwise because of the ledge that is the RV pad and it would be easier in the front part of our driveway where it's flat all around it and the trailer wouldn't be as tall. Uh, the instructions of the cover say to unroll it from the front to the back, but in our case we didn't want to walk around on the roof of the RV because obviously there are solar panels up there. So we actually just pulled it up from the side lengthwise and that worked just fine and then it was easy enough to pull it across the width of the trailer. Okay, we have the cover on the trailer now. It hasn't been strapped down at all or tightened or anything. We just barely got it on. And I just wanted to kind of show the fit here. Now up on top you can see there's some pretty sharp corners there from our solar panel array. And I am actually planning on uh, cutting out a portion of the top of the RV cover and having the RV cover come in beneath the solar panels so that they can produce on a daily basis because we use it to charge our Tesla. And the way that we do that is um, down over here, there is a wire you can see right there. And that's going into our garage and then it's charging the car inside. So um, let me show you here how well it fits. You can see that the cover comes down to the bottom edge of the trailer. And if it wasn't for the solar panels on the top, it would actually be down about nine more inches. If I come up here, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. In our trailer, because we have the solar panels up here, it causes there to be a gap between the solar panels and the roof that's higher than it would be on a normal trailer. Here's the gutter downspout cover, and so I can just slip that on here. And then it has this Velcro that I can wrap around to stay on tighter like that. And that will keep it from being uh, rubbing a sharp point on the outside of the cover. Coming around over here to the other side of the trailer, you can see what that looks like. It comes down to the bottom edge of the trailer nicely. Now, this side of the trailer is where the openings are if you wanted to get into the trailer while it's still covered. So you'll see there's a zipper right here, and then there's one here in the middle, and then yet a third here on the back side right here. So with these zippers, you'd be able to do whichever two you need to where depending on where your door is on your trailer and then there's that whole flap that you'll be able to open up to get into the trailer in my case i think i'll be able to get into my trailer by just undoing this one center zipper actually so i'm going to go ahead and undo that and we'll get in here behind the cover and looking at the corner i can get the door open about that far and then i can actually step in just fine and it's definitely darker in here, obviously. And if we look at the solar output when it's covered like this, it'll be very low, of course, yeah. So it's at 115 watts when normally it would be probably close to two kilowatts right now. Right now it is almost noon. This is how much our solar is generating prior to putting on the RV cover. Tied to the zipper is this string. That's a kind of a nice touch because when the zipper's way up there, you can pull down and Zip it back up easily, even though the trailer is really tall. Coming around here to the back side, this is what it looks like back here. And you can see that there are these flaps, two on this left side and two on this right side, that are meant to use the bungee cords that it came with to tie it together. So I will work on that now. On both sides of the trailer, there are these buckles right here. So I'm going to use the strap here that is the toss strap. This is the weighted end. And you can see it's connected to one of the shorter straps that go underneath the trailer. So I'm now going to toss those under, just like that. And then this end, I'll be able to connect to this clip right here. So this is where it landed when I tossed it, which is perfect. I can grab that, pull it in the rest of the way, and then undo this buckle. 
and then it's the perfect length to connect on this side to this buckle. And then it has the adjustment strap right here. Just pull down and to tighten it. And then repeat this on all of the others. There's another one right here. And then there's two more down at that end. And then at the front, there are two more right here. Then here on the front of the trailer is this flap right here. So I just put one of the buckles on it here. And then we can bring that around to the other side of the front of the trailer. With that connected, then I can tighten this, hold that in, and it will keep this front portion of the trailer tight so that it doesn't flap in the wind because when this fabric flaps is when it gets torn up the most. So I'm gonna do that again on the upper strap here, and then there's two more on the back side. As a side note right here, it does have this reflective uh, section on this corner and all four corners actually have this. So if this were to be parked in say an RV storage lot with a lot of other RVs, hopefully other vehicles wouldn't run into this in, at least at nighttime because it would be reflective and clearly marked. And then lastly, it came with the tire covers. So let's get that put on. This tire cover is plenty big. It's actually pretty perfect size. I have, I think 15 inch tires and then the, um, bungee cord that it came with here came with a lot of excess cord so I untied it and then tied it shorter so now it's holding it tightly back here so it won't blow off in the wind. I am now done installing the cover on the trailer and it fits really well. I was impressed with this product and the quality of the fabric from what I can tell so far obviously it being brand new. We'll see how well this lasts and then also I liked all the straps that it came with that help to hold it snugly to the side of the trailer. There are some unique aspects of my trailer, mostly the solar panels on the roof, and this actually covers the trailer pretty well, even though the solar panels are up there, causing the roof of the trailer to be higher than it normally would be by about nine inches. And um, like I said, we're gonna be cutting out a section of the roof so that we can fit it actually underneath the solar panels. And that'll bring the bottom edge of the sides of the cover down so that it'll, it'll be able to go underneath the trailer slightly. And then obviously that enables us to be able to gener be, be generating solar energy while the trailer is covered. I'm glad to be able to have this cover because now we'll be able to protect the longevity of the outside of our trailer from sun rot. I will include a link in the description down below to this product on Amazon. And I hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. And it should not be put on the head of children. Yes, put on the head of children. <laughs>